Mabuhay ladies, gays, and gents, Kevin in here, and welcome to Skate About Life TV Season 2! How is everyone doing? I miss doing this. I miss taping myself um, in the kitchen, baking, and cooking, you know? I just miss... I just miss this. I miss you all. I hope you all are doing great. I know it's still tough out there. It's still pretty challenging actually up until now as a pandemic stage but in tayong lahat. But you know, the fact that of course I'm still here being able to do what I'm doing right now. And of course the fact that we're still, you know, somehow being able to do the things that we normally do regardless of this so-called new normal is really something to be thankful for. Kaya, guys, magpasalamat tayong lahat kay Lord dahil hanggang ngayon, andito pa rin tayo, humihinga at buhay na buhay. Thank you, Lord! On the first season of Skin Fat Life, basically, I focus a lot more on like basic cooking and such. But for the second season, I figured in next level natin ng konte. Kasi tatang mashun Burmans eh. And Burmans means holiday season! Kaya lahat ng recipes na the dish up ko for this season, it's all gonna be holiday themed. Dishes that you can serve to your um, upcoming holiday parties. And of course, treats and lots of tasty calories that are oh so welcome during this season. And on this very first episode, I'm really really excited na i-share ito sa inyo lahat because uh, this is like a, a dish that came out of nowhere. It's just a random idea that I, uh, you know, that I had in my head basically. It's called uh, butternut pasta, three cheese butternut pasta. I don't know. I'm actually like while taping this, I'm still thinking kung ano yung ipapangalan ko sa kanya. Well, eventually you guys will know kapag dali ko na sa title nito. So with that being said, enough talking. Let's go to my kitchen and let's get cooking. All right, testing. Three, two, one. Hello, hello. Ah! Okay, we're ready. Can I just say thank you to the Hubby for sponsoring this microphone? It's his 30th birthday gift to me. I know. I'm a certified Tito Salmonella already. But anyways, can we not talk about the age? Let's just cook. Alright, so put a casserole on your stove top. I don't know if it's on top. But anyways, turn that under medium heat and then start rendering your bacon. Hindi nyo kailangan ng mantika dito. All you need is to literally just melt all those bacon fats right there. Paghiwahiwalayin siya as much as possible and then just cook this just until it's nice, crispy, and lahat ng tabanya eh nalay po suction na. So once it has crisped up, all you need to do is to, of course, put it on the side for now. Ilagay niyo sa paper towel to allow it to drain. And then we're going to remove the excess fats that we've collected from that bacon. But leave at least two tablespoons worth in there because there's so much flavor in this fat, you guys. And that is what we're going to use to make this dish even more tastier. Speaking of finishing up this dish, Let's move forward with the next step. Alright guys, using the same casserole, still on medium heat, start sauteing the uh, onions and then the garlic just until it's fragrant. Mix, 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 stir, 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 saute, saute, saute. <laughs> and then eventually, we're gonna be adding our shiitake mushrooms. If you feel like the uh, shiitake mushrooms is absorbing most of the grease in your casserole, feel free to add more of that bacon fat. Just be careful not to add too much because you wouldn't want your pasta to be all greasy and, you know, fatty. But anyways, you know that moment when you think you're recording yourself, but unfortunately you forgot to press record? Well, <laughs> this is that moment for me because as you can see, the sun-dried tomatoes is already in there. I thought I was like recording myself adding it in, but unfortunately that is not the case. But anyways, it's in there. So there you go. That's the story. But anyways, after that sun-dried tomatoes, or tomatoes as others will say, add in your uh, chicken stock. I started adding one cup, but I feel like I needed more so I proceeded with adding another cup in there just let that sizzle for a little bit and then we are going to be adding the 
butternut puree, which is basically the most important ingredients in this recipe. How did I achieve this? It's super simple. All you need is literally just about, I'd say, three cups worth of butternut squash. Just, you know, boil that for like three to five minutes or just until it's, you know, super tender. And then just puree that in a blender with one cup of water and voila! Do you consider buying a pre-cut butternut squash dough at the grocery store if it's available because I kid you not, it is such a pain to chop this and trust me, it's not my favorite thing to do. But anyways. We are then going to move forward with adding up our Italian spice which is going to give this dish a wonderful aroma. And then eventually the cream cheese. Just mix this all up just until it's nice and creamy and all those curly textures are gone in your casserole. Add in a Parmesan cheese. I know, there's too much cheese. But anyways, it's the holidays, come on, loosen up. Mix, 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 and then season it as desired with salt and pepper. At this point, we're technically done. All you need to do is to basically just adjust the flavor per your liking. And then eventually, after that, we're just gonna turn off the stove and then we're gonna add in our spinach. And then eventually, the crispy bacon. Leave about, I'd say, just, you know, just a few bits of bacon for the uh, toppings later, just for garnish purposes. And then just mix all of that in just until the spinach has wilted just a little bit from the heat of your casserole. And voila! I mean... Look at how creamy delicious that is. Aren't you excited to get your pasta drowned over this sauce? Speaking of pasta, where's my pasta? Ah, there it is. So this is basically just a, a thick spaghetti that I boiled to al dente and just, you know, mix it all in there, let that pasta drown over your sauce, and you're now ready to serve. Since it's the holidays, I figured why not take it up to the next level and, you know, let's plate it. Let's plate it nicely! I mean, you know, you put a lot of effort in there already, you might as well just put a little bit more. Just grate some cheese in there, I'm using Gouda cheese, also known as queso de bola. And then I'm just gonna add a little bit of that bacon bits that I saved from before. A few sprinkles of spinach, which clearly I forgot to tell you to save just a little bit for this part. But anyways, now you know. I mean, look at that. Just look at that. Just look! Isn't that gorgeous? It's super fancy, it's super simple, it's super elegant, and it's also super festive. So if I were you, I am going to give this recipe a shot for this holiday because I kid you not, this butternut pasta dish is going to be a crowd pleaser on your holiday spread. And that's it for this episode. Of course, for more Skinny Fat Life, I do have an Instagram page. My username is at skinny underscore fat life. If you haven't visited or followed that page yet, please feel free to do so because I'm posting tons of wonderful, simple, and delightful recipes out there that might interest you. So don't miss out. Check it out! And of course, if you find this episode incredible and this channel enjoyable, feel free to like and subscribe. This has been Kevin and Rikas for Skinny Fat Life TV. I'll see you guys next time. Ta-ta! I'm back! Next level night. It's Vermont at... And on this very first episode, of course, I'm so, so excited because I'm going to be sharing you how... Well, Light dito, in fairness. So on this very first episode, I <laughs> on this very first episode, I figured why not? Ano talaga yung first episode? Do hindi ko na alam. Well, you know, you know, lang alam naman dito, guys. If you find this episode incredible and this channel enjoyable, you let's go to my kitchen and let's get cooking. Mala, di di kusina, banyo yan. <laughs>